Abdullahi Hilole is a taxman, perhaps one of the most dangerous jobs in the Somali capital Mogadishu. Clutching a bag with his collections, he asks one shopkeeper after another to pay up. Hilole charges traders a daily tax of 25 cents. An armed policeman escorts him as he goes about his business. Most people are willing to pay up, but there are some who reject it. I wish I was doing my job under different circumstances. The need for an armed escort frightens me every day. Dozens of taxmen have been killed in the last two years. Khadija Ali is still mourning the death of her husband of 50 years. He was killed while collecting taxes a few weeks ago. We still don't know who killed him. We received a call from the mayor's office and were asked to come and collect his body. He was our only breadwinner. Khadija says her family was paid just $250 by the city administration as compensation. Taxation is a new concept to most people here in Somalia. There's been no meaningful authority in this country for most of the past two decades. And as the current administration tries to assert its influence, its efforts to introduce taxes are meeting stiff resistance. Just this week, the capital's main business centre, Bakara Market, was shut for three days in protest of what traders are calling exorbitant government taxes. We are not against paying taxes. What we disagree with is being asked to pay tax on goods just 20 minutes after they leave the port, where we fully pay duty on them. The idea of paying taxes for social services may seem outlandish in a nation where few have seen functioning hospitals or schools. But officials say if the Somali government is ever to win itself of foreign aid and provide services to the people, businessmen will have to pay their part. For now, though, that remains an uphill task. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Mogadishu, Somalia.